Nikon came out with something for the first time. It's innovative and it's pretty cool. It doesn't matter if you're a Canon person or whatever person, just think about this in general, but Nikon did something pretty cool. Well, at the time of making this video, it was yesterday, September 19th, um, or it depends on whatever you're viewing it, that Nikon released the first, the newest and innovative waterproof interchangeable lens camera. Now that's huge because it's not just some point and shoot that's fixed. I can go underwater. Now you get something with more versatility and more depth, but I'll cover that in a minute. So Nikon released the the Nikon One AW1 system. Now there's been a lot of, um, you know, hate directed towards Nikon because their mirrorless systems with the Nikon um, J1s and V1s and that system really is not that popular and they are just fire selling those on sale at a lot of stores places and outlet centers and everything like that because they're not popular and th they just weren't that good in my opinion I've used the um, J1 systems and eh, it's just not that good so this is really innovative for their line and I feel like this is going to be something huge that is going to basically revise Nikon 1 system and it's it's going to be great but once again I'll get into why I don't think it's going to sell a ton because they kind of overstepped their depth a little bit. So this innovative technology really started out with their AW100 camera, which was shockproof, uh, I think up to uh, 1.5 millimeters and waterproof up to 10 millimeters. That's how far you can go under and everything like that before you know things might go awry. So this system has uh, changed that up to a little bit. It is waterproof to 15 millimeters and it's shockproof to two millimeters uh, from when you drop it. So it's cool. It's basically an advanced point and shoot, something like you would get with kind of like a Fuji or anything like that. Not as great uh, from what I see, but that's, that's what it is. And you have inter interchangeable lenses for it. And there's two options. There's the 11 to 27.5 kit lens that comes with it, which was a three, five to five, six, which is $800. And for an extra $200, you can get the optional prime lens, the 10 millimeter 2.8 lens. So that's my huge gripe. Um, this shouldn't be almost a thousand dollars. It's great. It's innovative and everything like that. But you're the market is just not there for something like that. A lot of people buy this AW100 that was uh, 16 megapixels and it, it, it did really great. A lot of people love freezing them in their freezers and doing a time lapse and everything like that. But it only costs two to three hundred dollars, and that's what you can get them for now. So this price range might kind of kill this camera. I think they need to to slow the roll a little bit. But what are you? getting with this Nikon AW1 well you're getting a lot it is a 14 megapixel camera once again don't worry megapixels are not be uh, you know are not the thing and uh, here are a couple of the quick specs it's got a three inch LCD screen which is nice uh, and it should be good for um, underwater and everything like that and that's the huge driving point of this camera is to be going underwater and I'll cover that in a minute it does 15 frames a second on continuous burst which is pretty good and it does 1080p HD video great fantastic but let's get down to it so it's compact as i said it you know could fit right into your purse could fit right into your pocket without having uh you know any issues and it's as i said it supports those two dedicated lenses uh and it can also support any f mount lens just like the regular nikon ones uh the j1 the v1s v2 uh that they do as well so that's pretty cool but keep in mind that those are not going to be waterproof this 10 the, these newer aw1 lenses or aw lenses the 10 millimeter 2.8 and the 11 27 to 5 are the only waterproof dedicated lenses for this camera now what's pretty cool is this thing will be getting a flash within the next few months they say uh by 20 14 sometime earlier in the year that you're going to have a flash and that'll be called the SBN 10 that you pop right on and be great and maybe you can you know hopefully get it off camera somehow but that's great so this camera once again I feel like it's targeted more toward the advanced point and shoot market and especially people who want to get underwater and do some things because underwater photography isn't that popular you know getting something with great quality images and I said this is completely targeted for underwater photography because a ton of their settings are built for that and that is the purpose of this camera uh, you have a uh, underwater macro mode a scuba mode and a standard mode not sure what those are then you go really into depth but I guess maybe that's just 
I don't know, just something else. But the built-in features, uh, these few things definitely tell you that this is very, very um, a secluded market. It has a built-in compass, which I guess if you're going out way into the deep, you need to know where the hell you're at. It has an altimeter, which is basically um, your altitude, your depth, and everything like that, so you so you know where you're at. It has GPS tagging, I think. Uh, it has a depth gauge of where you are in a virtual horizon, which is huge, so you know, um, you know, how to how to you know point your camera but the big thing a lot of people didn't cover and i really want to tackle this is the white balance that this thing um can do it's going to be very specialized and customized because when you're underwater you get a blue or green cast all depending on what kind of water and, and where you're at so with this white balance is going to be really important it's something you really need to know to get rid of that blue or green cast uh especially if you're not um shooting raw and everything like that so that is the nikon one aw1 I think it's freaking awesome. That's something interchangeable. You can go underwater with it. And once again, I, I guess it's not innovative 1000%. Once again, I don't care who made it. You're going to get a whole line of lenses. You might get some cool telephoto lenses out uh, and everything like that. And you can get some awesome underwater stuff. But the price does not make sense for this. Uh, for both lenses and the and the uh, body, it's $1,000. Um, oh, boy. I mean... If this was maybe seven hundred, eight hundred dollars total, dollars total. I know I'm being nitpicky, but it's just a little overpriced for the market, and I don't make it doesn't make sense because Nikon's been pushing out a ton of um, lower end consumer based stuff recently, and they've been really dedicated to that line. So I'm not quite sure what they're doing there, but this is awesome. It's the world's first. Um, interchangeable lens waterproof camera so what is your thoughts down below once again don't matter it doesn't matter who made it what do you guys think is it something you'd be interested in if you know say your brand made it or whatever let me know